today we want to talk about the types of organizational structure. Remember we said organizational design is about how the structure of an organization is, is how we structure our organization to be. That's organizational design. So when we talk about organizational structure, different companies will come up with their own structure. So company A structure will be different from company B. Company B structure will be different from company C. So there are different structures in fact. So each company would have, because each company would have what they operate on. There are some companies that are manufacturing, there are some companies that are sales. Do you get it? So the kind of operations you go, the kind of operations you are involved with, will determine the kind of organizational structure you use. So what are the three kinds of organizational structure we have? We have the core structure, we have the flats, and the matrix. Those are the three kinds of organizational structure we have. So let's talk about the core structure. When you talk about the top structure, this is how the top structure looks like. This is the top structure. Why do we call it the top, top structure? We call it the top structure because it has different levels of hierarchy. Do you get the point? We call it a top structure because it has different levels of hierarchy. Hierarchy means the order in which authority is being passed. Please get the point. There's hierarchy, which is the order at which authority is being passed across within the organization. So look at it, it's very tall. This is a tall hierarchy. So here I wrote, it has a long shade of command and a narrow span of control. A long shade of command. And we talk about the shade of command, we're talking about the level of the hierarchy within the organization. It is known that this person has a higher level of authority than this person. This person here, these people here, have a higher level of authority than these people. These people have a higher level of authority than these people. So this is what we call hierarchy. Do we get hierarchy? So this looks like an hierarchy. But what happens with the span of control? The span of control is the number of people under each manager. We have one, two, three under this. One, two, three under each of these ones. This is what we call Why? Because it has different level of hierarchy. And what is hierarchy? The order at which authority is being passed across within the organization, within that sphere. So here I said that's a long chain of command, a long chain of command, and a narrow span of control. This is a narrow span of control. So that means I want to cross one of control. We're talking about the number of subordinates under a manager. I think that is clear. So we go to the second one, which is flat structure. Why do we call it a flat structure? We call it a flat structure because the chain of command is short. The chain of command is short, but it has a wider span of control. The level of authority, it has shorter layers. That means the level of authority within this organization is short. Just two managers and we have a lot of subordinates. Do you get it? So even the air can directly link with the subordinates. Do you get the point here? Here, it's difficult for the air to link with these people. So this can link with this, this can link with this, this can link with this, before linking to this. So here, communication process can be disrupted because it has a long chain of information. Just imagine how communication process has to go through here. And imagine how communication process has to go through here. This one is easier because you only have to talk to somebody. Here, you need to talk here, before here. Before talking to here, before talking here, before getting here. So the process of communication here can be disturbed, to break. Or like here. Decision making here will be faster and quicker. Why? Because it only has two people to deal with. So whatever information this people has to pass, it passes through this individual, and this individual takes it to the top immediately. But here, they have different hierarchy. So before this one would communicate with this, before it would communicate with this, it communicate with this before getting to the top. That's why it is top. The hierarchy is, is longer. Do you get the difference? So here yeah, I go to class. So this is a class structure. Why is it a class structure? It's a class structure because it has a wider span of control and a long, uh, a wider span of control and a short chain of command. The chain of command, talking about the hierarchy, we have that short layers. Short layers. That's in terms of hierarchy. Is it clear this? Is it clear in the here? So what happens in the second? The sort of control is wider, which means there are few managers, but large numbers of subordinates. The layer 
of shop, which will visit management cost for the business. So they don't need much managers yet, they only need fewer managers. So here, you have to pay for this manager, you have to pay for this manager, you pay for this manager, you pay for this manager. And this could be the supervisors. So you have managers here. So your managerial cost is more than, than here. Do you get the difference here? So for a shorter chain of command, you have few managers, which means you pay less on managers. Because managers are, the, the amount of money you pay to managers are more than the amount of money you pay to supervisors. Do you get it? Yes. So communication is quicker and there is what likelihood that messages are not distorted. That means messages do not break. Because here, you just have to inform this person and this person informs the manager. But here, I could pass information here, but this information might not get here even in two weeks. Or if I have passed information here, you might not give me the right information. Like, I've given you 20 information, but when you get here, the information has reduced. Or if you might forget to press say some things. Unlike here, that even the director is closer to the subordinates. Here, the director is far, is so distant from the subordinates. I think it's clear. So the last one is matrix. For matrix structure, Remember I said matrix structure means you are combining skills, expertise of individuals to complete the project. So the business has a project in hand, or the project is about this. We need those individuals that understand the project before we have to take them. So we're going to have a team of group of experts, a team of experts that will have what we call team leader. Do you get it? Here, we have a project to complete. For this project to complete, for this business, we need someone from finance, we need someone from human resources, we need someone from marketing, we need someone from production, we need someone from logistics. So we put them together to form a team to complete the project. Do you understand? Most of the time, they consider this as the best structure. Because here, you are combining people with experts, you are combining, combining people with skills together to work out a project. So the project will be fine. Just imagine you are taking an accountant that knows the job well, you are taking a production manager, you are taking a logistic manager, you are taking you know, people from different departments that are top in the department to complete the project. It will be better, the project will be of quality. Do you understand matrix structure here? So for matrix structure, it is all based on the expertise of individuals. So what you can do best, we take it. What she knows how to do best, we take it. What she knows how to do best, we take it. We take her. So we put this team together to complete the projects. So there's a project manager that is like the team leader for the projects that we want to complete. So we need someone from production, we need someone from marketing, we need someone from human resources, we need someone from accounting. So it is based on the skills they have. And that's what they use in completing each project. Do you understand matrix structure? Yes. In matrix structure, you don't have directors. You have a team leader or a project manager. So it is based on the kind of project you want to carry out. So these construction companies, this is most what they use. They take skills, they take different experts. They complete them, they put them together, they combine them together to complete the project. So we call that leader, the team leader, the project manager. Any questions about that? So now let's go back to the top structure. Here, communication process can be slow. Why? Because information has to go through each level of hierarchy, each authority. So it reduces, there's always a communication gap. And as a result, decision making might be slow. Do you get what I'm saying there? So, what can a company do to reduce the hierarchy? That's what we call delaying. Delaying. So, when there's delaying, we reduce the hierarchy, we take this away. 
take this away. The way I take this away, it goes up. Yes or no? That's what for today. Is it clear? You're going to think of some layers in the organization. When you take them off, then it becomes shorter. So when you take them off, then you have less, you have a shorter hierarchy. Then it becomes a flat one. Do you get this or not? Yes. So the process of reducing the level of hierarchy within an organization is called the layer. So when you find out as a business or as a business owner that you have large numbers of managers, you do what? You delay, you reduce the offices. So when you are able to do that, it becomes a flat structure. And at this point in time, communication becomes better and faster. Then you can make decisions with that. Any question about that? So that's the end of organizational design.